This is Not a Fairy Tale by Will Mabbott and Fred Blunt. It was almost time for tea. Sophie, what have you done to Grandad? said Dad. We were reading a fairy tale and he fell asleep, said Sophie. I love fairy tales, said Dad. Dad opened the book and began to read. Once upon a time, there was a princess. I bet she gets locked in a tower, yawned Sophie. Princesses always get, seem to be getting locked in towers. Not always, Sophie, said Dad. He turned the page. The princess was locked in a tower. She had been asleep for a hundred years. I always get up early in the morning, said Sophie. One day a prince was riding through the kingdom. The prince always gets to ride the horse. The princess never gets to have a go, said Sophie. Maybe this princess doesn't have her own horse, said Dad. Yes, agreed Sophie. That's why she'll have to borrow one. She'll need to borrow some armour too. Wait, said Dad. If the princess is here, who is asleep in the tower? Hmm, maybe somebody else would like a turn getting rescued. Someone like the prince. Puff! The princess rode across the kingdom in search of the tower. Zzz. I think towers are usually hidden in a forest of thorns, said Sophie. Not always, Sophie, said Dad. Eventually, she came to a forest of thorns. Grandad doesn't like people bashing plants with swords, said Sophie. Besides, a combine harvester would, do, would be much quicker. In the middle of the forest of thorns was the tower. How will she climb up the tower? asked Sophie. I think the hero usually climbs up someone's long and beautiful hair, said Dad. I'm not sure that's going to work. The prince is bald. I've got a better idea. Zzz. Activate transformation. Firing hover jets. Extending robotic arm. Rescue mission accomplished. Oh, uh-oh, said Dad. She's woken a dragon. Rawr! The princess is under attack, said Sophie. Pow! She got him now, shouted Dad. Oof! Ah! Wait! Thud! There's something wrong with the dragon! Ah! Look! He's got a poorly bottom! He sat on something pointy! No wonder he's so upset! Ah! Hooray for the princess! shouted Dad. We should wake up Grandad in time for the ending, said Sophie. You'll need to give him a kiss! How did it end? asked Grandad. Let's see, said Sophie. Dad turned over the last page. The princess and her friends celebrated with a feast and they all lived happily ever after. For Berta, whose dad burns sausages too, WM. For Bonnie and Sonny, FB.